we head to glamorous Monte Carlo now to meet the students thinking of our future as well as their own. The Monaco Automobile Club's new Energies Rally recently took place in the picturesque European Principality. Regarded as the foremost road competition for alternative energy vehicles, this year's event attracted a team of future-minded students and teachers from one of the top engineering schools in France. My name is Samuel Gomez. I'm a teacher at the Belfort Montbéliard University of Technology. We have two vehicles taking part in this competition. They're competing in two different categories. One is an all-electric car, because there is now a category called Zen, for electric vehicles, and they only compete in Monaco and the surrounding area. And then we have a second vehicle, which is a hybrid design and very powerful. The hybrid car has a top speed of around 200 kilometers per hour. Amazingly, a small team of students built it in less than four months. We're entering this car, which was built in 14 weeks. It's a hybrid model, so it has a 210 horsepower V6 PSA engine and two electric motors at the front, each producing 130 horsepower and a battery life of 21 kilowatt hours. The car was built in 14 weeks at the Espera Sparrow School in Montbéliard in partnership with UTBM, who supplied all the electrical parts and a few components. So in 14 weeks, with 30 students and four teachers teaching bodywork and mechanics, we managed to produce a car that runs today, so it's a great achievement. The university's other entrant was in the Zen, or Zero Emission No Noise class, which was added to the rally this year. The students took up the challenge and produced a surprisingly powerful all-electric design. The car can reach about 120 kilometers per hour. Because of the gears and the transmission, we had to arrive at a compromise between acceleration and speed. So it has a maximum speed of 120 kilometers per hour, an acceleration of 0 to 100 in 6 seconds. For alternative energy vehicles, both designs achieve an amazing level of performance, but they are very different cars to drive. Having driven conventional cars with combustion engines, the main difference is with the torque. On an electric car, the torque starts at zero, then as soon as you put your foot down, there's torque and you get power. So, the car doesn't behave in the same way. You have to drive a bit differently because the torque really makes it much more powerful. It's surprising. At first you don't think it would be as good as a combustion engine, but once you've driven one, you soon realise it is more powerful than any equivalent combustion engine. With cutting-edge engineering philosophy, the university hopes to follow in the tracks of a very famous French manufacturer, also from Montbéliard. Montbéliard is the birthplace of Peugeot, Peugeot Sochaux, the famous manufacturer. So what we're doing is rethinking the vehicle of tomorrow. All of this technology is fairly new, but we hope to make it more accessible and to teach trainee engineers so that they can promote these ideas in the companies they'll work for in the future. In the meantime, the future of alternative energy vehicles is in good hands. And with the backing of motor racing's governing body, the new Energies Rally will continue to inspire the engineers of tomorrow. This is the 14th year that this rally has been running. It's starting to become famous and deserves to be even more well known because it's an unforgettable experience. I think that the FIA, as well as the Monte Carlo Alternative Energy Rally, are very interested in engineering schools coming along with prototypes. Because the aim, as well as mass-produced cars, it's for prototypes to come here and test out new technologies, a bit new, a bit exotic, and that will allow us to identify, maybe even dream up, a few of tomorrow's designs.